welcome to the Prospector Paul channel. I got some exciting news. We got some openings up here at the Skookum Gold Camp in August. Check the description down below. Check out that phone number for Blake and Lisa. Give them a call. You can come up here and mine with the legendary Prospector Paul. And I'll film you and put you on YouTube. So we'll get you on one of these crazy quads. We'll go out and run over some tundra chickens. We'll drive under some moose. And we'll play Ring Around the Grizzly Bear. Now they don't like that game. So we won't be able to pet them when they're done. But we'll have a good time anyways. Let's see what else we got going on. So this is the Keen Max. This thing's a six inch dredge. That's the box. And these are the side boxes. This thing will eat ounces of gold every day. That's more than enough to pay for your trip and give Prospector Paul a big old tip. <laughs> All right, this is Prospector Paul saying, do you like gold? Well, I do too. Get your butt on a plane, get on up here and get some Alaskan AU. Well, hello and welcome to the Prospector Paul channel. Why am I dressed like a beekeeper? Mmm, because I'm in Alaska and <laughs> these skeeters will tear you to pieces, man. There's a bazillion of them down here. And Mother Nature added a surprise this week. We got tundra flies. And if you ain't got one of these head nets on, you're going to swallow about three pounds of them in a couple of minutes. So let's go down and take a look at all the bugs. <laughs> all right, so I'll show you where I'm working. Working in this bank. You may wonder, well, why is he working up so high? Well, I'm going to tell you why. <laughs> See this stuff here? This layer? This is all decomposed bedrock. And it comes through here, ends up over there. The first six inches of it got gold. Actually, the top one inch is the best. Below that, it just doesn't get through there. So, you got to take the dirt right off the top of the bedrock. And that's a couple feet higher than the creek. That's why I'm doing it. I've uh, test panned here. There's actually some chunky stuff here. Uh, nothing huge, but chunky. And uh, so that's where I'm digging. And I uh, told you the new gift. Mother Nature gave us all them tundra flies in there. My God. Just, there's just skeeters and tundra flies and critters everywhere. So this net actually works pretty good. I uh, got some rubber gloves on, button up my sleeves. And uh, yeah, they don't mess with me too much at all. It is hard to film. Uh, I usually need one hand to Turn the camera on and off, and I took my glove off for that, and I've already been bit six times, so I'm turning you off. <laughs> well, the gold don't come easy here in Alaska. I mean, I've been working my tail off, but I moved two giant rocks yesterday. That one, and <laughs> that big old bugger over there. And I had a heck of a run today. Only run for about 45 minutes. This is the best cleanup I ever got. Look at that. I mean, there's some gold there. A couple of nice chunky pieces. I can run like that. I've run eight hours. I can have me a pile of gold. <laughs> About time. Nice chunky stuff. Come out of there somewhere. Got to keep digging. I was right on the edge of that crap the whole time. I got probably a week in here for half of that. And then all that in one cleanup. So that tells you you just got to keep working it. You're right on the edge. No cold hog did good. All right, y'all. <laughs> I'm really happy, man. This is probably the best cleanup I ever got. I can see gold all over the place. It's there, it's there, it's everywhere. This may be my best cleanup ever. I, mean, I think we did four grams with uh, Mike Vendetta and... Uh, the Reverend, right? That was a great day. But this, oh baby, it's a lot of fine gold. But I'm seeing gold in the mat. I see chunkies. I see fines. Holy cow, this is awesome. I got her cleaned up, man. Well, sort of. Look at that nice piece right there. Right there. There's a nice one. Man, oh man. There's gold all over in that pan. They're talking about going down there for me. 
knocking them trees down with an excavator and ripping that ground up. And I'll just be able to hammer this stuff through that sluice or through that high banker. What a cleanup, man. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. No gold in Alaska, boys. Well, after yesterday's little discovery of some gold, we got Jody's uh, down here now and running the pro line. We got Terry down there panning and we got uh, Bob down there panning. Everybody's out looking for the gold. Let's get it. Get that Skookum Alaska gold. Woohoo! Check out this nug. Oh, where'd it go? Right there. Hopefully the camera's picking it up. That's a decent one. Alright, we'll get her in the box, clean it up, see what it looks like. Alright, so I'm back to the spot where we did really good and I had that awesome cleanup. And it kind of helped me out a little bit. And they removed all the trees. <laughs> So now we can get some clients down here, dig out of this here pay dirt. This is all pay. We're running it through that high banker. And we're getting some good gold. Got a nice nugget already this morning. Hopefully we get a dozen more for these guys. But yeah, get your butt out here to scook them. Check out Blake and Lisa. See if they can get you in out here. A lot of good gold. having fun yeah getting some gold yeah. all right we'll be back all right another cleanup see another nug in the miners marks right there nice piece hopefully there's some more to go with it a little low on water though I don't know what we're going to do here. Ain't enough water for three machines. A little better view of that one. Looking good. I don't see any more up there. Maybe there'll be a couple. Well, we're up on the headwaters of Deadwood Creek. So there's 26 pup creeks come in here and feed this thing, and this is one of them. And I mean... We is back here in the middle of nowhere. Up ahead we got an old steam shovel. We'll go take a look at that sucker. Stay tuned. Got us a little crick. So we're 12 miles off of the road. Way back here. And uh, you would think Ain't nobody ever been up here before, but unfortunately, here's a big old piece of machinery. It amazes me how much iron is laying around out here in the form of these machines. Oh, old bugger. <laughs> All I can smell is oil and grease. <laughs> Old cable steam shovel. I mean, she don't run on steam, but that's the name for one of these kind of devices. Very inefficient. Eh, maybe we won't walk into there. A lot of iron laying around out here. Oh, look at that big old chunk of quartz. Another big one up there. Yes, sir. Got fireweed coming up. You can make jelly out of that stuff, I guess. Take the petals and boil them. And they'll turn a ugly greenish black. And then you uh, add some lemon juice and that beautiful color comes back. Add your sugar. And you got a jelly. Tailings piles. Moose turds. That's moose crap right there. Look like little milk duds. 
we can step on this plywood and don't have to worry about snakes. There ain't no snakes in Alaska. Unfortunately, though, there's a lot bigger crap that'll eat you out here. Here's the old wash plant. Old sluice box. That's pretty cool. Old wooden sluice. Look how inefficient that plate, that punch plate is. Uh, I mean, rocks could roll right down there and never, gold could roll down there and never get caught in one of them holes. Big old sluice. I think I can get you over by the sluice. See if there's anything in it. Half grammar. Just lay in there waiting for us. Wouldn't that be nice? Nah, nothing in it. Huh. Just the old box. Cables. Lots of trash. It's a damn shame. But it is what it is. Wow, they done welded on this a bunch of times. Right in here, up in there. Huh. Pretty darn cool. Look how much they welded on this. is all split. There's a weld job there. Weld all the way up. Very inefficient though. I mean, gold could get through this. Just ride the metal out and not fall in one of them holes. These are all cut with a torch too. They're not very uniform. Them boys work their butts off on this. That's quarter plate, easy. Huh. The old sluice box held up by chains and cables. Get your angle set. Looks like they were using expanded metal and an indoor carpet. That old box is pretty cool though. Well, hey, I wonder what's in this jar. Nothing. No gold. Big old tailings pile right there. So I'm going to put a couple guys metal detecting on that. And uh, hopefully they do, they do really well. A bunch of tailings here. These are more tailings. That's a header pile. That's the rock that come off the, off the shaker deck. This tailing should be good. That machine was very inefficient. I got a feeling they're going to get it. Someone's going to get one in that 20 gram range, three quarters of an ounce. That's my guess. Just got a feeling about it. I wish it was going to be me, but I didn't even bring a detector. We're going to do some exploring this afternoon. Check out another spot. It's going to be pretty good. Just a beautiful creek though. Love that big old piece of quartz. This is the only creek I've seen quartz on, especially in any kind of size or number of pieces. Another one over there. One right there. There's probably gold in it. There's an old ugly one. There's one. Oh yeah. Hunt in Alaska. Well, howdy. Prospector Paul here. This is Ron. He's a hundred years old. <laughs> he used to be a professional skydiver. <laughs> now he's out panning for gold. gold. Look at that. <laughs> so we're getting a little dirt out of some bedrock. And uh, we've done a couple pans already. And a couple of them, uh, well, the ones I'd done were pretty garbagey. But uh, is garbagey a word? It is today. <laughs> but Ron's been on some pretty good gold. And he's got... Uh, the second half of his pan here. We're gonna see what he's got. Look at that man pan. Not bad for being a hundred-year-old skydiver. <laughs> <laughs> and here comes the magic. And we got a couple rocks we gotta get out of there. There we go. Oh, watch. We'll have to cut this one out and not show it. Because it'll have too much gold. <laughs> We're not enough. Oh! What a terrible pan. Ugly piece of wire gold. Nobody likes those. Nice chunkies. What do you think, Ron? Is this that, a good spot? And that was even like a tenth of a pan of dirt. 
tenth of a pan, boys. Don't you wish you were here in Alaska? Woo! There's no gold in Alaska, boys. I'm gonna show you where we're digging. I'm trying not to show a lot of skyline around here. This is our little secret spot. Check this out, huh? Can you say bedrock? <laughs> So Ron's just been scraping this stuff off of here. Little hole there, little hole there. And you just saw, I mean, he just pulled out six nice pieces there and uh, one piece of wire gold. So I'll, uh, let me dip in the bucket. We got six pans worth here. And I'll run that real quick and show you the gold we, we've already got out of six pans crevicing that bedrock. All right, so I've done just a quick pan down. That's, uh six pans right there and then ron just oh my goodness look at what ron's got going on looked at those three holy cow seven pans look at all the gold no gold in alaska boys i wouldn't come up here it's not worth it actually i'm kidding you guys need to check the description down below and look up the link for uh I have for the Skookum Gold Camp, right? So Skookum Gold Camp and Roadhouse. Give Blake and Lisa a call. Blake says if you use the, pro, uh, the promo code Prospector Paul, he'll work you out a deal. I don't know what kind of deal it's going to be. Uh, depends on when you come up. Things are going to be a little more expensive next year. Because, hey, gas is up. Everything's up. But use the code promo. The promo. <coughs> That's an outtake. Use the promo code Prospector Paul and get yourself a discount. Get up here to the Skookum Gold Camp and you can find gold like this in just a couple of pans. Ron, you having a good day? Ron's having a good day. That's a golden smile and you only got four yeah. pieces in there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Get up here, boys. You're going to love it. All righty. Got the generator going. Got an extension cord. To the shop back we're vacuuming up all this dirt we got ryan in there he's digging it up using the brush dustpan we're gonna get some gold out of here folks it's gonna be a good cleanup stick around to the end of the video all right really bad news as always uh see that sitting in the mud there <laughs> it's everywhere it is in here captain ron what do you think it's everywhere. It's everywhere. Hundred-year-old skydiver converted to a to a uh, oh gold miner. <laughs> now, poor Ron's son had uh, could only stay a week, so he was here for the first week, and we just find this spot. And we were really wishing you were here, Shane. It would have been cool. What do you think, Dad? Yep. He yeah, would have loved it. Yeah, he would have. All right, Ron. All right. We'll get back to work. Find some more. We got VG, visible gold in the hole. There we go. Can't beat it, folks. Make sure you give Blake and Lisa a call. This is a lot of fun up here. So we ran uh, two buckets and one tub of, you're not in it. Two buckets and one uh, vacuum through this uh, high banker here. And we don't think we had it running right, but we did the top tray and Captain Ron's down there gonna pan that out for us we're gonna see how we do and when we're done with that pan we'll do the second one here the second mat down in there and we'll see what that looks like and then the carpet last should be should be some good gold though we saw a couple pieces on top and we're gonna thunderstorm coming in so we ain't gonna be here too much longer I'm afraid all right, here comes the magic. We're gonna see how we do. We're gonna see this together. We have no idea. <laughs> oh, that's looking terrible. Yeah, I think we're gonna leave this spot. That's terrible. Pop mat slide right out. It didn't. Huh? It didn't. It didn't? No. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Wow. What do you think, Captain Ron? You like that? <laughs> I like that. <laughs> That's job, a nice guys. one. Thank you, sir. That's a wow. That's a wow. 
That's a wow. and we'll go cool down to here. Terrible cleanup. Absolutely terrible. 